Sorry, it's been a while to have uploaded. Um, I'm in the process of moving right now, so I'm going to try to get these videos to you guys a lot more often than I have been. All right, anyway, time to review the movie. All right, so a while ago I saw the movie Game Night with, you know, um, Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman. And... Yeah, it's good. It's very, very good. <laughs> well, what's this movie about? Well, Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman play this married couple who they are obsessed. They're insanely competitive. So they get married and um, they have these game nights with their friends and neighbors and everything. One of which is really creepy. And, uh, and... You know, they have this kind of a tradition. They play everything from, like, Jenga to Scrabble to charades to anything you can think of they played it. Well, Jason Bateman's brother comes in and he says, hey, you know, I I mean, he's not a huge fan of his brother. He always one-ups him and everyone loves his brother. Well, his brother comes in and goes, hey, I'm going to take game night up a notch. Well, so I'm going to have someone come in and kidnap one of us and the game is to solve... Uh, where this person is and how to get to them. But what happens is it doesn't go according to plan and one of the people actually, uh, the brother actually gets kidnapped by real people and they think it's a game and then comedy ensues. First and foremost, Jason Babin and Rachel McAdams have insanely good chemistry in this movie. They work off each other so well, their comedic timing is great and Jason Bateman, he's a very underrated comedic actor. He's hilarious. He's always been funny. There's not one movie you, he, that he's in that he isn't funny, at least in a little bit. That's a com At least it's a comedy movie. I mean, he's in other serious movies, but this is actually really funny. Rachel McAdams is really good. She's hilarious. Um, and they're friends. There's not one person who, like, their chemistry between, like, this ensemble cast, there's not really a weak link. And you have your stereotypical characters... Uh, but they're not annoying. It's really not. A, it's really not bad. It's a great uh, movie to go see. It's really. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to say this. It's really interesting to see how these people work off each other with their comedic timing. Most, almost all the jokes land. It's a really, really funny movie, and it's it's nice to see like people actually put an effort to write a good comedy movie because comedy is so subjective that what some people may think is funny, other people might not. Like, for example, I don't like the movie Half-Baked. I don't think it's that funny. But other people, mainly stoners, love the movie. But this this is a movie that I think everyone could really kind of get the jokes and everything. And, I mean, it, really, all the, the only problem is all the best jokes are in the trailer. So if you've seen the trailer, you're going to be kind of spoiled by this movie. So what did I like, other than all the comedy? And Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams are all great. Um... I mean, pretty much there's a whole lot I didn't like. Now, there is one cameo in this movie that I'm like, I mean, it's a part, but it's not a cameo. I'm not going to say who it is or what the context of it is, but I love this guy as an actor. I wish he was in more stuff. He hasn't been in a lot lately, but uh, he was great. Um, the action fit well. You know, you're a little thr it's a little thrilling and everything. Some of these jokes, like, they're unexpected jokes, but... They're still really funny. All the recurring jokes in this movie are funny. And the only, uh, one thing I would say bad about this movie is that it's very predictable. At most of the time. Some parts it's, it's unpredictable. Most of the time it's very predictable. You can kind of guess what's going to happen. And I, I don't like movies that are predictable. That's just the one thing. It's like, a, it's like a pet peeve of mine. I don't like movies that are predictable. Even though it's a comedy, you can kind of predict where comedies kind of go most of the time. But the best comedies, like Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura and The Hangover, you really don't know where it's going to go next. You don't know like where they're going to push the envelope or where the joke's going to land or how long the joke's going to go on for. But this one, it was predictable with the story. And that's just what I, and that's something I, I have to gripe about. That's probably the thing I, I didn't like about it the most. But uh, there is just one scene in this movie that, like, it's in the trailer, but the trailer doesn't do it justice. It's a lot funnier in the movie than it is in the trailer. And it's, you'll know what movie I'm, what scene I'm talking about if you actually go see this movie. 
So would I recommend this movie? Absolutely. It's a date night movie with uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend that you guys can both enjoy. And I give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. It's rated R and it's it's bloody and it's and there's a lot of cursing in it. But it's worth the watch. I really enjoyed this movie, and I think anyone who actually wants to enjoy a good comedy with their boyfriend or girlfriend, go and see this movie. You'll have a good time. All right, thank you everyone for watching my review. If you want to watch my last one, it is over here. And we'll click my face right down below and subscribe. I try to upload at least once a week. Uh, comment, like, and share this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!